Okay, so here we have the harvest is completed. I have removed all of the sweet potato plants and you can see all the way down there there's a little bit of vegetation still left like hanging in the fence. I stuck a little one in the ground, looked like they wanted to be stuck back in the ground. But other than that, everything's been pulled out. You get occasionally get some of these rhizomes. They can be planted if you had a season to grow them. But you get these guys on the fence. Yes, sweet potato likes to climb fences. And just in an effort to keep things tidy and pull them out, they eventually brown up and dry and fall and feed the soil. So it's not a big deal if y'all want to leave them. But you can see here that everybody's been removed. It's been raked up. And what I want to do is draw your attention to the edge, okay? This is all Bermuda grass growing in clay, red clay. Uh, in that red clay is some very hard sandstone. So the soil, the dirt below, the chips, it's really, 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 at this point, because the chips have been there for a while, it's kind of soft. But outside of the chip area, it's hard. And the Bermuda grass grows in it beautifully. But I did not have to pull a lot of Bermuda grass out of this lowest edge of the chips. Somehow the sweet potatoes managed to keep it back. A little bit of maintenance goes on throughout the season. I do apply a spray of straight vinegar, two gallons of straight vinegar with about a cup and a half of regular table salt and a little bit of soap. I apply that to the edge that you see here to weaken the Bermuda grass and keep it from coming in. I do not apply it to the foliage of the plants, even though sweet potatoes are known for having a, at least a mild affinity for acidic soils, they don't necessarily want to be inundated with salts. So you can see the resultant effort makes it look, you know, somewhat dead, somewhat alive, but it's weakened. And that's what I'm trying to make mention is it's weakened. It makes it easy to pull out. And in its weakened state, state if you look really close, you'll see there's not many seed heads on it. It really didn't seed head. There's some seeds, but not a lot. So we like it to be weakened. We like it to be crumbly and dry and not thriving within the confines of our garden area. But that's, that's what I do. That's how I manage it. I use the sweet potatoes like it's a tool. And then I grow them for their crops, of course. And then I apply this mixture of salt, vinegar, and soap to the edge to keep the, the um, grasses from, you know, really, really taking root. I don't know if maybe they think, hey, this is salty. It's super, super, super acidic. We don't like it. Let's just stay out. But um, the summer heat also stresses it out. Uh, you know, you know what heat I'm talking about. The stuff where it's like 104 or 5 degrees. That heat stresses it out a little bit. On the whole, it really does like really warm weather. But that's what I do to manage it and maintain it. And I will come back through here again and weaken it one more time. Then it's going to get some chips put on top of it. I've got to replenish it. So I'm going to be putting more chips on top of this. Y'all all know. There's the... The leafy greens from the sweet potatoes and then here is some two-year-old wood chips so I can use this to replenish them and here's some brand new wood chips this is what I would use in the spring so I'm gonna go over it to nutrify with this two plus year old wood chips and then in the spring when I plant I'm gonna plant the sweet potatoes are going to produce foliage, and as they produce foliage and it comes up, I'm going to tuck them in with a two to three inch layer of this stuff right here. Because I can. It doesn't weaken the plants. If there's any question about whether or not it weakens the plants, refer to the pictures in the video of, well, those delicious sweet potatoes. I'll just give you a glance at what's curing in the back of the trailer here. And that's going to be on my plate for Thanksgiving. Grow well and live better.